Hello Pioneers and welcome back to Fort Center. I'm Emily. I'm also Emily and we're bringing your global sports, weather shorts, and students crushing it in spring sports. Hey, don't forget about our fit of the week. Tune in for our music review and stick around for our future news. Now, let's, let's get, get on, on to Fort, Fort Center. Center. Wait, Miguel didn't do a forecast. How am I going to say thank you, Miguel? Thank you, Miguel, for not being here. Thank you, Miguel, for not being here. Now, as you tell by the flag behind me, it ain't windy, but it is raining today. Very cloudy, very rainy, very cold. And that's pretty much it for this week's weather. See y'all next time. <laughs> uh, hey guys, welcome back. I'm Eva. And I'm Maggie. And next week is senior week, so get excited seniors because school is almost over. So let's talk about what will be going on next week for the seniors. There are so many things planned for us seniors. Don't forget to show up and have fun. Monday, May 20th is the Dollywood trip. Be here before 7 a.m. to get on the bus. People who are late will not be waited on. Tuesday, May 21st is the senior breakfast in the cafeteria at 9 a.m. You will also get your yearbooks and have a signing party during the breakfast. <laughs> Wednesday, May 22nd, is the elementary and middle school walkthrough with your cap and gowns. Now, this is mandatory for graduation, so please show up with your, or you will not walk. Thursday, May 23rd, is the indoor graduation practice starting in the cafeteria at 8.30 a.m. You will need to bring your cap and gown. Friday, May 24th, is the outdoor graduation practice also starting in the cafeteria at 8.30 as well. These graduation practices are required for you to graduate, so you must show up on these days or you won't graduate. And finally, graduation is on May 25th at 10 a.m., but seniors will must be here in the school cafeteria with their cap and gowns on or, or no later than 9 a.m. Okay, that's all. Uh, see you next time. No, we won't. Never. I'm graduating. See you never. See you never. <laughs> Hey, I'm Sadie. And I'm Josie. And we're back hiding women's sports. This week we'll be interviewing Bailey Johnson and Madison Smith from our very own tribe. <laughs> Soccer team! <laughs> Shoot! Okay. This is what happens when I come back. <laughs> hey, I'm Sadie. And I'm Josie. And we're back hiding women's sports. This week we'll be interviewing Bailey Johnson and Madison Smith from our very own soccer team. How are playoffs looking? I think we're going to make it all the way to region. I think we're doing pretty great for a first year. That's really good. How long have y'all been playing soccer? My whole life. This is my first year. That is so awesome. Good luck for the rest of y'all season. And that's a wrap for the women's sports segment. See y'all next time. <laughs> we just completely switched off everything. Like, what are we doing? What? Like, I'm not I supposed said to that. do you that. Said that. <laughs> <laughs> so just staying Okay, so today I'm here with Eli from the JV soccer team, and I have a couple questions for him. So, Eli, what's your pregame ritual or pregame meal? Uh, I usually just sleep, and then I just I just get McDonald's since it's like really close to us, or I just listen to music. All right. Well, what's your McDonald's meal? Uh, I don't know, like twenty piece sweet and sour sauce, uh, and then I get the chocolate shake. Oh, that's a good order. And how have you improved this season? Uh, I really just changed positions, but you know I haven't really improved. I just I just do whatever. <laughs> okay, thank you for the interview, Eli. Good luck with the rest of your season. Welcome back, pioneers, to our last episode of Sport and Entertainment News Around the World. My name is Andrew Smallwood. And my name is Austin Kirby. Now some major news in soccer. One of the biggest games to decide the leader of the English Premier League with Man United facing Arsenal. This is to be one of the most exciting and anticipated games on the calendar. Now to the world of motorsports. This weekend, we will see the Emola Grand Prix. Celebrations have already started with some, uh, some of the greats driving Cinna's famous cars. Also at Monaco, the historic Grand Prix took place with some of the most famous people in motorsports racing around the Monaco circuit. Like McLaren CEO, Zach Brown, Adrian Newey, and Cinna's nephew. Now, some news in the NBA. The NBA draft is coming up on June 27th with the Detroit Pistons and the Washington Wizards have, having the best odds of winning the number one pick in the NBA lottery. This is expected to be the most anticipated NBA draft. Now some news in entertainment. Last week, the Met Gala came in full force with some of the biggest stars showing their support for this major event. Also, some of the biggest luxury manufacturers showing off some of their newest 
and outlandish, outlandish designs. This has been Sports Entertainment News. This will be our last episode, and it's the last time you will see us. Thank you, and bye. <laughs> Welcome back to our music review segment. I'm Anthony. I'm Ethan, and this is the DJ. Don't call me that, bro. I quit. All right. Our song of the week is going to be Against the Wind by Bob Seger. This is our last video. Against the Wind is a song written and recorded by Bob Seger for his 11th studio album of the same name. It re was released as the second single from the album April 1980 through Capitol Records. This is a good song, and it has a great meaning behind it. Anthony will explain to you the meaning he thinks. I don't know. We just played it wrong. Justin, please come back.